and welcome to PMP certification course offered by Simply Learn. In this lesson, we will focus on project quality management. There are 47 processes in project management, grouped into 10 knowledge areas and mapped to five process groups. In this lesson, we will look at the fifth knowledge area, that is, project quality management and its processes. In the next screen, let us understand what quality is. The project manager is responsible for quality in a project. However, it is also the responsibility of each and every one in the project to ensure that whatever they do meets project quality expectations. Quality is defined as the degree to which a set of inherent characteristics fulfills requirements. A project is said to meet quality expectations when all the project requirements agreed in the beginning of the project are met and the resulting product is usable. Usable means that the intended users can use the product without any problem. In the next screen, let us look at some quality-related terms. It is important to discuss a few terms to understand the concept of quality better. Customer satisfaction is defined as conformance to requirements and fitness for use. It is important to understand the subtle distinction between quality and grade. Grade is a classification based on technical characteristics. Low quality is always a problem, but low grade may not be a problem. Rather, it would be a matter of choice. Similarly, it is important to understand the distinction between precision and accuracy. Precision is the granularity of measurement. That is, how fine-grained can you measure the outcome? Accuracy is how correct you are. That is, how close you are to the desired value. In the next screen, let us understand the concept of optimal level of quality. Quality comes at a cost. More effort put in quality will give better results. However, you cannot keep on investing on increasing the quality, as there is no limit to how much a product can be improved. Investment in quality is determined by knowing the optimal level of quality. Optimal level of quality, as shown in the diagram, is said to be achieved at the point where the incremental revenue from improvement equals the incremental cost to secure it. Suppose you are the manufacturer of toys, but the toys are below quality and the sales are low. To improve the quality, you invest in identifying the demands of children, sharing few samples, and recording their feedbacks. Once all these are captured and implemented in the products, you lure the parents to buy them. As the investment is increased to manufacture good quality toys, the cost will therefore increase and it might become prohibitive for parents to buy. Optimal level of quality is reached at a point where you get maximum number of buyers for the toys manufactured. Now that we are clear on the concept of quality, in the next screen, let us discuss quality management. Quality management involves performing activities like creating standard policies and procedures and ensuring that those standard procedures are being followed properly in the project. It aims to ensure that project meets all the initial agreed requirements without any deviation and that the specified approach to quality is implemented on the project. Three broad activities are done as part of quality management. They are quality planning, quality assurance, and quality control. Quality planning is the first step when quality-related activities of the project are planned. Quality assurance is the next stage of implementing those quality plans, and quality control is the last stage when periodic checks are done to see if project quality is improving. In the next screen, let us look into the differences between the three aspects of quality management. It is important to understand the different kinds of activities that come under quality planning, quality assurance, and quality control. Once the quality planning is done, the quality management plan is ready. This quality management plan has standards, templates, policies, and procedures to be followed in the project. It contains information on the level of quality being aimed and the plan to achieve that level. It is the aim of quality assurance activities to ensure that the activities planned under quality planning phase gets executed for the project. It is the task of quality assurance to determine if the project is complying with the organizational as well as project policies and procedures. 
This is ensured by conducting regular process audits to identify deviation from what is planned in the quality management plan. These audits are generally done by quality department of the organizations. Quality assurance focuses on the process, not on specific products. The role of quality control is to measure specific project data or results against standards to inspect and verify the project's product, defect repair, and measure whether quality indicators are improving. Quality control is about the product and data. For example, it was planned as part of quality management that project would get completed plus or minus 10% within the cost budget. Three months back when the measurement was done, project was over budget by 20%. When the measurement was done a day before, it was only 15% over budget. Therefore, the project has showed an improvement of 5% in the last three months, and it is quite likely that over the next three months, project may get within the planned limit of 10%. Instead of showing improvement, if the data shows cost increase, then corrective and preventative actions are required to get the project within the 10% limit. This is quality control. Hey, want to become an expert in project management? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in project management, click here.